The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 117. You get the NASDAQ down four. S&Ps are up five and a half. Gold contract up uh, $8.40 at 1192 an ounce. We have silver up seven cents, fourteen dollars seventy cents. Light sweet crude flat, sixty-five dollars ninety-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, they're catching a bid once again. You get the ten-year up nine ticks, one twenty seventeen, thirty year up twenty-four ticks, one forty-five oh nine. King dollar. King dollar is uh, up thirty-four ticks, ninety-six. 0 0.001. That's having a hard time holding higher price. We have the euro trade 114.33 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 110 and a half to one U.S. dollar. And Bitcoin. Bitcoin is uh, really flat down 32 dollars 64.48. And uh, Tesla is getting toasted. Tes only the headlines were good for them because they're in the headlines every single day, right? But they have not been good over the last week or two, at least, nope. man. Quite look, a look, number. And, okay. Yeah, look at this number. You know, I was going to say, rebounded a little bit from this morning, oh, actually. It's, it was yeah. down to 291, but it's right. go for it, man. Pretty remarkable run since that. So 288 hit this morning where it was, so it's, it's down uh, $100 in uh, five, nine trading days. Yeah, and it was up $100 <laughs> in the six and, preceding it. Yeah, I mean, right. Pretty intense. Yeah. And, you know, the, I believe, so watch this. Let me see what number this was. J.P. Morgan. 190. Is that the number they put on it? Oh, my God. Okay, so yes. they, they put a price point on it, evidently. And when I, just, I have it up here, actually, okay. on one of these. Uh, we'll jump right there. Uh, we'll get there. There you go. Uh, nope. Okay, there's too many... Uh, yeah, there it is, 195. Okay, 195. That's pretty you. intense. Yeah, and I mean it's remarkable that that was down from 300 or something, and that's their December 2018, which is right around the corner price tag. Okay. So they go from uh, 308 to 195, and you're talking about in the span of the next four months. That's a prediction. That's not like a 2020. That's heavy. You know, deep dive type of. Uh, wow. Give them some time frame. That's that's you know in the next four months we just went from. We think it's going to be at 308, which is like kind of at right now, to 195. Yeah, and the market reacting. Yep. And if we go over to the NDX 100, folks, which is the weak uh, link out here, you're going to see the chip stocks plus Tesla is the, is the culprit here. Nvidia is down 2% of 525. Tesla is down 1.6, 480. Intel is down 1.5%. Uh, LAM Research is down 1.5. We're picking off, picking up right where we left off last week. And in terms of Tesla chip stocks, right? I mean, right. totally. Yeah. Right. And the, if we go to those SMHs and take a look at it, the, the, you'll see, you know, bottom line, last week we went from, uh, what, 109, we're at 101, you're yes. at the lower end of this consolidation. So we'll see how, how this is going to uh, basically attack it. You had, um, yeah, Pepsi buying uh, SodaStream. Yeah, so um, I was looking at SodaStream this morning, just soda is their symbol, yeah. S-O-D-A, and... Uh, What's intriguing is they must have really crushed it on earnings because, man, they, they were sitting at about 130 before this number. But, I mean, look at that. July 31st, they were down there at $85 and, yep. and crushed it on earnings. And I assume, you know, I'm guessing that was the day. And then they still kept rising right up until, um, and then, you know, so can you imagine being Pepsi? But I was thinking of, right? I mean, Pepsi, man, they should have moved a little bit quicker and gotten this done in May. Right. Um, because you know that they were watching that stock. I mean, this takes a long time to get this type of action, and I'm sure that, the people at SodaStream love to see that because you walk in the next day and you say, guess what, things changed a little bit. Our stock went up 5% yesterday. And uh, then you do the same exact thing the next day and the next day. Pretty remarkable, the run that they've had, yeah. And, and so what you hear in the news out here this morning, folks, is that they Pepsi bought at an 11% premium of last Friday. What yes. you don't hear is what Tommy's talking about, that this was an $85 stock yeah. on August 3rd. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and in fairness, things changed. They must have had quite a number. Oh, they did. They read, they read it. They, yeah. they're, they're, they're people, are, they're doing two different things. They're using, they're not only using just the uh, the product. Yes. Um, what's happening is that 
they're not throwing away as much also. So it's, it's a, it's a two-way, it's a healthy deal plus yes. it's an environmental deal. Right, because you buy one bottle yeah. as opposed to you buy a bottle right. of soda water. Some right. of my friends had it. Yeah, um, you know my friend Jay, he's, we've yeah. had him on the show before actually even, and uh, he's a big fan of that soda stream really? over there. He is. He is. So yeah. let me just see this. I, I, there it is. So it went public uh, November 2nd. 2010. At, at 20 bucks, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then it was up to 43 by the time 2011. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. So, hey, if we go over to the gold market, folks, this is what, you, this is what you're looking at in the next gold. Now, what's going to be intriguing here in, in the gold market is this. You're going to see headlines out here that this is the largest shot position ever in the physical gold market. The problem is, folks, is that the ever, record-wise, only goes back to 2006. Okay. So, to me, that's not an ever. And why is that? Is that when they start? Wait, so evidently that's when they've they've got good records till. Okay. You know, when I, it, number, so just questions that come to mind is like, so how is that categorized, right? So what, it's what categorized now? by the number of shot positions inside the uh, Chicago Merc. So for futures, for, for, futures. for a specific right. contract or something like that. Okay, sure. All the contracts together. Okay. Um, so this is the highest position. Okay. Uh, but when you hear that, make sure that you. It's from from 2006. That's the bottom okay. line. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. With 2006 is right around the corner for yes, me. Yes, I agree. That's right. not no, totally. that's not a big deal. Totally. You know, but what will happen now? That what's also happening. Let me pull up this one too. Inside the 10 year, that's also happening too. Now I don't. Let, let's see if I can get this quick as to how long this has been. This is a one of the largest shot positions also in the 10 year. Um, no, so all these numbers came out Friday, folks. They come out every Friday. Uh, you know, well, this is, you, you got some of these big bond managers talking about that if the squeeze comes, it could be pretty dramatic. But bottom line is that, you know, we'll see. That's, that's a counterintuitive deal. I mean, it looks to me like, you know, the 10 year and the 30 year is moving. Gold hasn't, eight, nine bucks, that still hasn't done a thing. Yeah, you need you know, more upside for all that destruction. I need a lot more upside. Yeah. Uh, if we go inside the Dow Industrials, uh, taking a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, strength is Nike's up 2.5%. Johnson Johnson's up 1%. Boeing's up, uh, well, here, let's do that. <laughs> Boeing's going to have a big number, up yeah. 1%. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Boeing's 23 putting points. 23. Nike, 14. Home Depot, 12. Taken away from it, Intel, 4. Microsoft, 4. Visa, 1. Apple, yeah. One and a half, no big deal there. Um, we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. Apple, huh? Yeah, no, I'm gonna, let me get. I'm gonna oh, get, that's in I'm the gonna, Dow. Okay, I'm gonna get in the that S &P. makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's good old advanced micro. Facebook's down two bucks. We got uh, Netflix is up a buck twenty. Not much. There's not a lot of action out here. And Nvi oh. Nvidia, the, the chip stocks are gonna be the problem child inside that NDX. NVDA, NVIDIA came down hard Friday. You're going into, uh, what, 233? That's the low, we hit 239 so far. You're gonna have the volume. We're, we've, we've already done 4.4 million, and it's going into 8.9. That's pretty intense. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials are up 90. NASDAQ is down 14. S&Ps are up one and a half. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 87, and Nasdaq's down 19. S&P's are up one and a half. Let's go to Andrew in Tampa. Hey, Andrew, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing? Doing Good morning, great. Andrew. Yourself, man? I'm doing good. Um, hey, I was interested in Southern Copper. Um, I owned it for a while. I actually got out uh, back in uh, the end of May and looking for a re-entry point. Okay. Let's just sort of let it, to, let it go until we start seeing a sign of strength. Let's take a look at it. So right. Southern Copper, folks, is the largest copper company in the world. The low's 38, the high's 58 for the last 12 months. Trading right now, 43.81. $34 billion company, not bad. Yeah, big number, man. So we get on last week. You break the swing, 4.9, 5.3. Five point five. Interesting, man. Okay, so that's you're four. looking at that on a weekly right now. We're yeah, it's forty three dollars and eighty five cents. I, I see what you're looking at, man. I mean, I, I like how this is setting up. Um, the real question is, is that forty three fifty four with a forty three? It looks to me like you know you rejected lower price here, man. Uh, the longer you stay inside this forty three fifty four, the and that's kind of the low of that July nineteenth day. Yeah. yeah. Is that, you know... And the sign of strength of the 23rd and the 24th of July. Exactly. Now, I, I think this is not a bad buy right here. Let me pull up the contract for the... Uh, Copper. Yeah, also. I was looking at both this, because I have this in the gold report. We didn't buy it this morning, but I was looking at this. So let's see. Copper. We're at 267 a pound. Yeah, it's still the exact same thing. Interesting, man. You talk about a, a chart that looks just like SCCO, right? Right, it would make sense. You're yeah. the biggest copper company in the world. Yeah. And so the copper con contract, we really want to see inside 269.75. You're yeah. 267.30. And that's the same low from that July 19th day. Yeah. But I would, you know, listen, I don't think there's anything wrong with, well, here, make, let's see when they're coming out with numbers just to make sure that you're going to get side sorry. Yes, yeah, so they already came up. Yeah, them. October 19th. I, you know what? Coming in here, putting a stop, you know, giving it some breathing room, putting a stop underneath that low from last week wouldn't be a bad buy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sort of what I was thinking. Just wanted to get you guys' take on it. Yeah. I appreciate you, it, you, you, and you, I enjoy listening to, to all your shows. Well, we appreciate it, Growl and Problem. How did you find out about us? Uh, I've actually been listening um, through, through the years. Actually, I used to listen to you guys on, on the radio back okay. 15, 20 years or so ago. Yeah. Cool. 20 years, so, man, how old are we? Okay, all right, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not that long. I no, it probably oh, no. is. That's why I laugh, I, Andrew, I started, no, totally, I started in 94, so totally. it could be 20 years easy. It's a good easy. deal, man. I, I just Tommy's laugh. saying I that's, just laugh that's more than half his life. I just so he's, laugh he's at saying, time. Well, <laughs> man. Yeah, totally. He's a rug rat then. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally, man. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Andrew, man. Okay, awesome, guys. Keep up the great work. Thank Thanks you. so much. Yeah, so, it, you know, these these commodities, folks, the bottom line is that uh, it's all going to depend, I think, where this dollar is going to go. Uh, the way that the bonds are trading out here are, like, are so, they're not only, it's not only wild, they're so counter to what the market's doing. Do you know what I mean? The bonds refuse to go down, and that tells me that, yeah, something's going to come out of nowhere, and this S&P wants to pull back, because, like... That's normally how it works. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen. But when rates continue to, when the buyers continue to come in the rate market, it's, it's, it's like, why? It's because something's hanging out there that's not great. Well, we get the third day of jury deliberations in the Manafort trial. Yeah. Well, I kind of joke. I don't think that'll have an effect. But uh, it, it is interesting that we'll probably get a headline one way or the other in the next few days at least, if not today. Right. Um, right. With that, I joke. I mean, I don't expect that to matter. Unfortunately, because nothing else yeah, has matter. Matter. Yeah, yeah, right. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't yeah, I'm expect with, it I'm, to matter. Yeah. But uh, I joke. You know, we'll see what happens. Well, the 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 steel stocks are saying that there's just trouble and paradise on the tariff business. Period. That's you know, if, if you if you look at, you know, the, it, it came in you know for the steel stocks to protect the steel stocks, and they've done nothing but go down. Right. So we went from 47. What is that? That's March of last year. Uh, that's yes. No, that's March, March of this year. year. That's so it went from 47 to 30 bucks. Yes, and to follow the whole chronological order of yeah. things, right? I mean, there's the election, there's the buildup on the first expectation, there's the fear that things weren't going to get done, right? There's yeah. kind of the anticipation and the buildup throughout basically the entire of 2017, the beginning of 2018, and then as things start to come to fruition and, you know, rhetoric becomes reality, I think you see the market realizing that it's not going to be the windfall that right. maybe they were hoping for in those steel, talk, steel stocks. Right. And at Alcoa, if we go to aluminum, has been pleading with them, you know, to listen, man, you're killing me. <laughs> Alcoa just went from sixty-two dollars to forty-two. Man, you know, same yeah. same type of setup. And the the aluminum, I think the aluminum people are going to get hurt more than the the steel people because there's a lot of what it, what it is, folks. There's a lot of a, small aluminum manufacturers, and that's what I mean, get hurt more. It's going to be spread out. You know, you you can op you can open a nice aluminum shop with four or five. Okay. People in a couple good machines. Small business. Sure. You know what I mean? So that's where, you know, the, the U.S. steels of the world, uh, well, they're just conglomerates that have been going out of business for a long period of time anyway. So 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go see, good old Walmart. So before we know it, we're going to be in uh, uh, Christmas season. Oh, for sure, man. You know, so Walmart come out with numbers, monster numbers. We're going to be in Thanksgiving, right? Took off top side, yep. That that has the juice. Macy's, just the opposite. Um, bottom line is that that baby, that came down hard, you know? So. Yeah. It's not bad, though. I mean, it's up 85 cents this morning, so they're, they're not killing it. How about Coca-Cola? I saw some headline. I'm wondering how they're, they're trading with the likes of Pepsi getting into, uh, yeah, flat. Okay, I was just curious if uh, they were... You know, that's going to be some competition. With, oh, yeah. You know, Pepsi spending three-plus billion dollars to, to get into that market. I mean, Coke Look can't be good for Coke, but stock, stock doesn't seem to care, that's for sure. Look at that. Is this the all-time highs? I think it is. There you go. They're probably getting that on. Uh, Coke's at all-time highs. Unbelievable. So, employees 630. Okay, so this is cool. This is broken down. Non, well, of course it's non-alcoholic. I didn't know they even said bottle, non-alcoholic. Yeah, I guess this is, they, they, they just break it down like that. Maybe yeah. that's a product segment within, you know, Bloomberg or the industry versus, because it's just bottling investments versus beverages, I think is the way. Yeah. So watch this, folks. This is intriguing. Like, you know, thank God we're getting healthier in the United States and North America in general, because they're 
they're contracting in North America dramatically, 26% yes. over a three-year period. Yeah. But worldwide, they're growing by 14%. Yes. They're giving their crap to everyone else. Well, and they're getting, I was going to say, they're getting into other areas of um, liquids, whether it's, you know, well, yeah. healthy beverages, well, buying companies like that, yeah, I think diversifying I think they're themselves. the biggest water owner. Okay. Bottled water. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. They, a, yeah. they run under a different million different brands. Yeah. I think they're, uh, which one is they? I think they're, are they Dasani? They're Dasani. Or is that Pepsi? Is that Pepsi? That yeah, no, Pepsi. They, they each have one. And for Aquafina. Sure. No, I think Coke is Aquafina, okay. and I think Dasani is Pepsi. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We're going to have in, uh, well, uh, let's one more see. segment. One more segment. Then we're going to bring them in. Uh, Jason Path up. We're going to be talking uh, the markets. Dow Industrials right now up 109. NASDAQ is down uh, 16. SPs are up three. Come right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is right now up 109. You get the Nasdaq down 14. S&Ps are up three. And um, there's that headline. Looks like you found it. Yep. Headline, folks, is gold investors give up hope as the biggest shot in history builds. But yet, just as we go walk through this, the, that's records going back to 2006. But this, is, this article is actually intriguing because what you have inside of this article, I believe also, is that they're, they're talking about the amount of funds that now we have the doubles and the triples shot positions sure. too. That's yes. the, the, you know. So 
the, the key to wrap your head around is that, uh, well, a couple of different things. As a divergence inside it, if, if gold does catch a bid, you know, bottom line is that they have to be bought back. The, the intriguing part is that if you go to the, the South African equities right now, folks, all in cash is costing $1,263. Okay. So what that means is that the longer that gold stays under $1,263, the longer that these companies lose money for every ounce of gold that they mine, and they have the largest mines of gold in the world. And, and those mines are old, and that's what it is. But guess what? That makes I'm sorry, difference. what company was it again? That's what, did you say? Um, Wait, Harmony, in Harmony. particular. Okay, I see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, it'll be most of the South Africans. Right, no, it, it's a general. I'm yeah. sure that they're all in that vicinity. So, and, that's kind and of then what that means, right? So then they stop producing it. Exactly. And then supply comes down. Right. And then demand right. will stay the same, or, right. you know, and then prices go up right. as a result, right? The thing that's intriguing is that if you, when you wrap your head around what it takes for an ounce of gold anyway, the, the, the minimum is like 10 tons of dirt for one ounce of gold. So I always thought that, well, that's pretty good value in yeah. itself. But now when I see that, okay, some of the largest miners are saying, okay, it's costing me that much. You know, can you tr throw in another hundred bucks on top of it? You sure. might be able to. <laughs> sure. You know. Yeah. So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Yeah. Um, you know, the the dollar out here, it looks to me like the dollar is doing a small ABC down, actually uh, today. Uh, what's going to get Go intriguing if we if we take a look at this? You're going to see that on a weekly basis, it couldn't handle price on Friday. On a daily basis, it's going into these lows from Friday. What is that? That's 95. Uh, 975 we're at 95 985 pretty close yeah so it looks like it wants to make the run down there and who knows we have jackson hole this week you get the fed out there we'll see uh how that shakes out we're gonna have our man jason path on next and uh He's got a lot of different currencies going. We have to ask he him does. about these currencies. Aussie dollar, right? Yeah. What else? Euro dollar. Right. I think uh, yen, 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 yen pairing of some sort. We'll get into it for sure. Yeah, and the euro right now is at 114. Uh, we'll go if we go over to the Bitcoin. And don't forget, folks, if you haven't test driven yet the Natex platform, come over to our website, you can hit the banner, bring up the demo. Uh, and this is the beginning of the week. So, you know, we have the weekly as well as the monthly uh, Bitcoin spreads. Pretty um, amusing that we're just hanging at these levels, man. Yeah. You know, it's almost, a, it's a far cry from 6,000, as in it's remarkable. It's almost like 10% above that level, right? But in the grand scheme, it feels like we're right at that same oh, level it's that dangerous. we've been at for a while, where yeah. it's, you know, we're just sitting kind of in this lower range. We spiked up once from April all the way to May, and then we spiked up again from basically the whole month of July. And then, uh, yeah, we're back here. So. And if you want to see the, the ultimate scam, folks, these poor people in uh, Venezuela, here it is. Oh, yeah. So Revaluing they, the currency, they right? An, Pegging they, it to a crypto. Go they, ahead. They had a 95% revaluation over the weekend. Devaluation. Devaluation. Yeah. 95%. Yeah. And then on top of that, they're claiming that their money now is backed by a... a it is. A crypto... Yeah, but it's, it's backed by a crypto... That is supposedly backed by the oil, but bottom line is that I suspect there's no regulation inside all any of that. So. Oh, yeah, you don't even have to suspect. I'm pretty yeah. sure we went over it when they right. talked about it, that basically it's pegged to the price of oil, which then basically Venezuela gets to decide. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's really just pegged to whatever they say it's pegged to. Right. That's what, yeah. It's, it's, this, it's, a, it's amazing. Okay, so... Oh. But, no, I, uh, just at the official value, this paragraph here. So the official rate of the currency will go from about 285,000 per dollar to 6 million per, <laughs> per dollar. Um, a, a shock that officials tried to partly offset by raising the minimum wage 3,500%. Um, this is just, you know. So the, the, and so the minimum wage there, just to like wrap your head around this, folks, $30 a month. Yeah, and, and in reality, though, like that's one discussion anyway as in yeah. that's just you know different countries third world countries as in they're not going to be able to control that as much as they want to oh yeah like uh, yeah no they promote be, that they can be, control they're, it they're as be a in, black market they, right they, exactly they, what they don't have in this article is what the black market was before they even did the devaluation it was probably around the same sure right um but it's like man yeah and this is the same time that they came as the government re-denominating the currency by lopping off five zeros and introducing new bills and a new name change so instead of the new minimum wage being 1.8 million strong 
bolivars. It will be 1,800 sovereign, sovereign bolivars. They just added the word sovereign. It's like freedom, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's our freedom, freedom money. Freedom, all right. Yeah. Tough deal, man. And just think, so just to wrap your head around this, Venezuela supposedly has almost as much oil as Saudi Arabia. Yes. So that is the thing that is just disgusting. So, you know, you get, you get a dictator controlling yep. the people. And, get, and the, way, the way this shakes out, folks, is that the military is in charge of all the contracts. So that's why the military goes along with it. They, they, they are the bearers of the contracts, which is like, and I'm talking food, you're talking anything that moves. Um, that's pretty, it's crazy. It is. It is. Pretty wild. It is. 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go see what good old Facebook's doing. So Facebook trading down a buck 84. Yeah, this is going to... The woes continue. Yeah. This thing wants to go after like 149 down here. Sure. We're 171. That is quite a down bar, man. It's oh. a historical down bar. As yeah. In, that's a $120 billion down bar um, that the, like, the market never seen before. What was that again? If it was that, that was their earnings. That was their earnings. That was their earnings coming out saying that their right. margins really are right. going to be what they're spending a lot okay. more money. Their margins are going to go down from... Well, it was 40% to 30, 50 to 40. I mean, it was like a 10 to 12% lop off the protected margins. And you're talking about margins on billions upon billions upon billions, where basically the earnings just kind of like disappeared overnight. From, right. um, and that's really the big, the big part of it, that they said that we're going to have to spend a lot more money to do business as we're doing. And the money that we're going to be spending isn't actually meant to take in revenue. It's just kind of to fix to what state. we have going on, right? Okay. Yeah. So we take a look at Intel, you know, Intel lower end of the consolidation. This is what's, you know, keeping pressure on the NDX 100. You know, it's kind of intriguing because Intel's back to what, November of 2017 price. Yeah. And if we, if we can, you know, if we get into this too much, meaning you're at 46.52, but if we get the top of this is 47.30, if this thing gets down into like the 43s, your probability is going to go a lot higher that you can get all the way back down to where it broke out from. Yeah. I agree. And that's, uh, let me see this. Yeah, it's going to be quite ahead. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's setting up. Stay right there, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials up 100. NASDAQ is down 7. S&Ps are uh, trading up 3. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Jason Path, who does kick us off every trading day. Morning market kickoff, 8.30 a.m. Stay right there, folks. Jason and I and Tommy are coming right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 78. You get the Nasdaq uh, down uh, 20. S&Ps are up uh, one and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jason Path. Uh, Jason kicks us off every trading day right here, folks. Morning market kickoff, uh, 8.30 a.m. Also has a great newsletter. You can get that newsletter by going over to the DutchBook.com. Now, this week, uh, we get something actually special because our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming to the end of the uh, summer. Basil uh, is doing his program from 8 to 8.30. You got it. And then we, right. had, we had Jason, so you're going to be able to rehear this program today, uh, their program today at 12 o'clock. That's right. So the eight hour is going to play at noon. So if you yep. didn't catch Jason at 8:30, you can catch him at 12:30 on what's going on in that market. Beautiful thing. That, that's awesome. What's happening, man? How you doing? <laughs> Not much, man. Doing great. You have a good weekend. We did. We had a great weekend, right. man. Yeah. How about yourself? Good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I went over to a uh, NFL training camp, watched some football. It's that time of year, man. Oh, oh nice. that's right. I know. It is time. I, I'm excited, man. Football. That's right. It's yeah. coming. That's pretty that's wild, right. man. So that's, that's... Patriots Nation getting hot. ready. Sorry. Yeah, how, okay. hot, how, how, how hot is it out there? It was great. It was like, it was like 81, 82 oh, that's degrees. Wow, that's amazing. Sunny. Yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful. That's perfect, beautiful. Man. That's Better perfect. than I deserve. That's a that's a beautiful thing. That's right. So hey, let, let's take a look at what you got going on, on over here. We, 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 uh, let's why don't we start with that head and shoulders you're looking at in the S and P. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we we believe we're headed towards some form of pullback. Um, you know, tops are hard to call, but we certainly see a you know an old school, old fashioned head and shoulders pattern developing neckline right at 2700. So we'll continue to monitor that closely. But, um, you know, now that we're through earnings, there's just really no catalyst on the horizon. I mean, we're looking towards maybe a, a rate hike that we all expect in September. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what else is on the docket uh, except for, you know, choppy global demand, choppy global growth. You may get a pop if and when the trade thing breaks, but without a catalyst, now that earnings are over, it's kind of like we were talking about oil. You know, we've had some reasonably constructive stories on oil and oil didn't move. We had pretty good earnings, right? I mean, we had some, you know, certainly some some uh, some choppy areas, you know, the Facebook thing, the Netflix thing, but sure. overall, earnings were up, uh, should have driven the market higher than it did. And now that we exit that, you see defensive uh, you know, uh, sectors are up, but um, everybody else treading water. And uh, I yeah, think we're- Yeah, no, I, I can see that. And, and you know, you can add Tesla into that crowd too, because oh, you know, man. Tesla fly, flies to 389 and then crashes to 279, yeah. like, you know, right. like a heartbeat, like who would have, a, uh, you know, it's pretty intense. So let's right. start talking about some currencies. Where, where are right. we at in these currencies? 
Well, you know, we, we've got the folks that are linked more to China, uh, you know, and, and the metals and commodities, the yeah. Aussie dollar. You know, we've been short the Aussie since about 74.40. Um, we're at 73.13 this morning, continues to work its way lower. We, we'll get some news out of the RBA early week. Uh, Governor Lowe speaks. We'll get the RBA minutes. We'll see. This is really an, a short-term, long-term play for us. Clearly, they're under ple- pressure near-term with the Chinese situation, the trade situation. And let's not forget, China was slowing down before the trade thing hit the radar. That's yes. just accelerated and given more velocity to that. Right. But as the yuan weakens, we still envision a seven handle on the yuan before the end of the year. That'll drag the Aussie dollar lower. And then as the United States continues to get some distance between Australia on interest rate differentials, that's a move that can continue down into the mid 60s through 2019. It's quite a downtrend throughout most of this year right now on that Aussie dollar chart. Yeah. 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 In the longer term, we had a nice double top there in the back half of 2017, early 2018 there around the 81 level. Um, Pretty firm resistance there. And it's just sent it down into a a pretty well-defined discipline channel there. It just continues to head lower. Well-defined discipline oh, right channel. There, man. You, don't even, <laughs> right. you don't even need the Love lines those. to see that channel. Exactly. That's, 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 right. a, good, that's a good one. That's okay, right. Okay, so let's, uh, you get the pound. Let's go into the U.S. dollar. Okay. So where, right. where are we uh, here? The euro, uh, U.S. More. dollar. Okay. There it is. Sure, euro, okay. U.S. dollar we got. Yeah, the, the, the euro uh, continues to be weak, in, in our opinion, up against the dollar. I like it down to 112. At some, time, at some point, that trade will turn over as yeah. the ECB gives more clarity on a tightening cycle, but we're not there yet. Uh, we've had a lot of noise with the, the Spanish banks and the Turkish situation, right. Italy under a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, we still like the euro lower. It's in a consolidation zone around 114 right now. We called a short in our newsletter at 117.50. We've ridden it down. Nice. We're still targeting 112. We've pulled the stops way up because at any point there could be some type of relief sure. rally. But we like 112 by uh, September, and uh, we'll keep shorting it through that level. At, at, later this year, though, I think that turns over. Yeah, no, I'm with you. So, uh, oh, gold. No, let's go. Let's go. You have, you have Bitcoin in here. Let's go to Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin continues to stay uh, around the level that we had called as a consolidation zone. Originally, we said it would stay here about two weeks. This is the second of those two weeks. Yeah. Uh, we've called a high this week of 66, 61, which is not too far away from where we are now. But it's just a real slugfest between bears and bulls right now. Pretty decent volume. Um, so that gives me an indication that we shouldn't see any kind of gap move up or down. Uh, typically, we'll get those really sharp gap moves on Bitcoin when the volume just disappears. Okay. To be clear, that could happen at any second, but we're seeing steady volume now. Folks are just consolidating positions, slugging it out. We like we get a break above 2750. I think it's a pretty quick elevator up to the low sevens. Uh, as we've said several times on this program, if we break lower and test 5800 and fall through that, I think the market collapses down to about three. But for this week, I like about where we are, the mid sixes. I think seven to 10 days out is when we start to approach seven. Yeah, this is going to get interesting because the, the longer that it hangs at these lows, the more that, you know, like, depending where you're a bull or bear, you can look at it and say, oh, it's going to go. I mean, sure. top, or it's going to, like, make a run. It's a critical area, it right? No, I was and get that under that number. And once it's under that number, there's, there's, it, it seems that there's no support until down at that 3,500, which is pretty intense. Definitely. That's right. That's- if they think they're losing money at 6,500, forget 3,500, man. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a dark day, man. That's uh, yeah. And how about uh, natural gas? Yeah, natural gas is at an interesting inflection point. Uh, storage levels extremely low uh, historically, but the weather is just uh, been very mild. There's been pockets of heat, no question. Uh, you know, you guys in Florida certainly felt that, but on the coast it's been hot, been very hot out west. Unfortunately, we've seen some impacts of that. But if we, if we had some cooperation for the weather, I think four dollars would be in play by the time we got to winter. Um, but there's no real demand catalyst right now. Demand flat supplies at record levels uh, but the, you know those two are just kind of keeping the market you see the range we're locked in you know between we've been between yeah. 280 and three for forever we're just waiting for some type of catalyst out this range out of this range we know that production is going to be high if demand picks up due to the weather I think that takes us into the mid threes if it just doesn't and production allows us to catch up on this gap I think we're 
we're not going to see much beyond three through the balance of the season. But the next four weeks will tell us everything. We uh, we think there's a pretty bearish build in inventories this week, so I'd call it uh, incrementally lower for this week. I think high to mid 280s is where we'll land come Friday. Yeah, I mean, you know, the bottom line inside the commodities market, if you get a weather market, man, holy cow. It's a movement. Those are, that's some real movement, no doubt. That's right. Cooking, brother. It's always right, a pleasure. Man. Absolutely. You guys have a great rest of the day. Jason, you thanks too. so much, man. All right, man. Don't See forget, you guys. folks, listen, you listen to them every day, 8.30 a.m. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's up 73. NASDAQ is down uh, 17. S&Ps are up one. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Our Dow right now is up 67. Nasdaq's down 20. S&P's the flat. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. He's going to be doing a uh, Momentum uh, webinar uh, this coming Wednesday for his subscribers. You can be a, by, a subscriber by coming right over to our website at TFNN. Uh, hit that banner, sign up, 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, Wednesday, it's hard to believe, 22nd. I know. 5 to 6 p.m. Where'd the summer go, man? 
Pretty remarkable. So Steve been there, how to measure the real momentum of any market hour-long webinar for subscribers to Mastering Probability. That will be two days from right now. So I encourage people, get in there, sign up for Mastering Probability. New subscribers can get in there with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you'll gain access to that workshop, along with a couple of archived workshops that Steve has put together for his subscribers. And uh, of course, 30 days for Mastering Probability. Great newsletter service by Steve out there every trading day. And that will be Wednesday from 5 till 6. And like you said, man, pretty remarkable, right? August 22nd. So Falmouth Road Race was Sunday. Uh, I believe a Canadian man um, won it this okay. year. Uh, the Kenyans always dominate it, man. Okay. But I believe a Kenyan man um, won it in a time of like 32 minutes and change. And it was actually... That's seven the, miles, right? Uh, yeah, 6.6. Yeah. 10K okay. is what okay. it is. And uh, it was 63 degrees at, at uh, where you start. Yeah, wow. so cool, cloudy. I saw pictures of the start line. You know, you had some people in trash bags. They were worried it was going to be raining a okay. lot. With the, um, so talk about some cool weather, man. Summertime. Good. Send a little of down here. Seriously, that's what I was thinking. No 60 degrees. we got a long way to go until we see temps in the 60s down here. Yeah, I don't want 60. I could, use, I could use a day in the 60s. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. We get Fast Market coming up next. Uh, TD Ameritrade. Then, we, of course, we get our man. Uh, well, actually, that, we that, do. We got Basil Chapman and Jason Path during yeah, the noon probably. hour. So check that out. They both did a great show this morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Well, go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2000